Hey, what is up, Samurai Squad? My name is Eagle Samurai. Welcome back to another video on the Update SMP. Not a lot has happened, but some stuff has happened. And, well, we have a few new buildings that have popped up just, just along the horizon. And we have somebody who look, it looks like they're playing something over there. Uh, it's been a little while since, you know, I have gotten on. Don't know if there are any pre-orders yet, but uh, we'll check that out. In a bit. Now, okay. <laughs> okay, no. Um, so I want to I wanna say that last season and season two of the Upgrade SMP, we never recorded this because we thought it was just some, we thought it was just somebody just, you know, messing around or something like they accidentally broke beds and didn't place them back down. But we had a guy last season, we don't know who it is, but they kept breaking people's beds. And he ended up earning the name of the Bed Bandit. Last time I was on, my bed was right here. And now it is missing. So, I'm going to take a guess that the Bed Bandit is back. Which scares me because I rarely ever save my spawn other than when I sleep. Uh, I think I have some wool or some. Okay, well that's, <laughs> that's lucky. I have another bed in there. Uh... But I always have wool at the ready in case this ever happens, um, because it, it it was weird last season, because, like, it, it was when nobody was on. Like, like, we asked everybody, and they kept on saying they weren't on during that time. So it could either be somebody covering up a lie, or I don't know, and uh, one of my fences is off. What is happening? One of my fences is off. Is anything else missing? What is going on? On. I don't know. Nothing else is missing. There's a skeleton over here that I want to kill, though. With, uh... I don't know if I renamed my sword in the last episode, but you can see what I renamed it to. Uh, yeah, uh, I renamed my sword equals be oil on my sword. <laughs> I want to see what this says, because I think somebody was planning a build over here, but I'm not too sure. I think... <laughs> what? This, no, this... Okay, this could just be the glitch where sign... Just don't show up, so I'm gonna chop it up to it just being that. But yeah, there has been. I'm just gonna skip past all that nonsense. If the bed bandit comes back again, I have a plan to catch him. But for right now, there's a lot of stuff that has changed with the update SMP. And what does this say? Oh, I made that, yeah. So there's been a lot that has changed with the update SMP. Um, we've been on a little bit of a hiatus that took place longer than we thought it would but you know we're slowly filtering ourselves back in right now we have me duper trent and metric who are back in uh, i think brendo also popped in for a little bit as well as faded uh so we're slowly getting back in there uh there's Man manuel's house right over there uh trent has taken down the beautiful thing we made and there is a pillar of amethyst i think i read last episode i remember reading this it says we're sadly gone, our memory is all that remains. Did I? I can't remember if I built this or if, like, something happened. Does he have anything in that? He does not. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take anything. I just want to see what he has. <laughs> yeah. What was that up there? Oh, it's just concrete. Okay. He has nothing uh, good. Uh, I've made a little platform up there of something that I'm going to do very, very soon. But for right now, I just want to, you know, go through the server, show the new buildings that have popped up, the new locations, everything that has changed uh, in the short amount of time. There isn't much that has changed, but there is... Oh, my God. There is a little bit that has changed. I know that Trent found this little place that me and... I'm not going to write out the other person, but we made one of them put the role-playing Republic up there. Um, I think he's done a few of this because he's taken some signs down. But this is basically his to-do list slash idea list that he stole from me. So, there's that. It's a small change. Now, if I go over to Duper's base, he has actually done a large amount of change. How... Okay, my Elytra is, is very good. By the way, if you're wondering how I got all of this right here... Uh, Duper and Trent built a piglin farm down in the nether, and I went to that, and I was mining some quartz, because my mega base is going to have a lot of quartz, so I have like two and a half quartz stacks right now. But yeah, a lot has changed. I'm not sure if I actually went over this in the last video, but this is basically, I think he said that this is Azurus 2.0. I don't remember what he said, but I'm going to say that that is Azurus. 
Uh, and then immediately you can notice that he's taken down the portal. There's no more portal over here whatsoever. And, oh, he's done a little map. I actually haven't noticed this. Oh, it's a map of the, of spawn. This, but, oh my god, look at his, oh. Look at his place compared to mine. <laughs> that is pitiful. <laughs> you can definitely see the, uh, the little roads I've been making to everything. I think that's trench space up there and metric space is like somewhere right here. But yeah, that's uh, that's everything that we've that we've been doing, and it looks it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna look. what it, okay. What is that? Oh, that's the new place that I want to show you. I for, completely forgot about that. Okay, so Duper's base and Chain Months. He added some trees, which I really like. They really add to the aesthetic of the place. Uh, and he has filled in this place over here with his new gold farm. Uh, which is immediately making my game lag. I still have trouble finding the entrance. It's all the way down over here, isn't it? But he has made a gold farm as well as a normal farm over here. He has... Does he do to do wall? Oh, no, he's done to operate. Uh, I've used the, the gold farm slash XP farm uh, a while ago. I actually accidentally messed it up, which is no surprise here. <laughs> um... But yeah, so he's he told us me and Metric something the other day that I found really funny, but it's also true. Me and Metric will just walk into his base and just randomly start opening chests to see what he has. I don't know if that's a reaction just because he usually has so much stuff that we want to see how much he's grinded in the past few days. But he he has a lot, and we always do that, which I find extremely funny. He had a little farm up here with L LAs and uh, a villager in there. Uh, but yeah, that, that's basically all that's changed for District 19 over here is just this gold farm, a couple of trees over here. Um, I'll get to this building over here in a second. I just want to make sure that, has he done some, oh, he's done changes to this too, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Oh my God. that He has definitely done some changes. Good Lord. Okay. This is, looks completely different. I miss jumping around on chests in here now. Um, but yeah, this looks, this looks really cool. It's definitely getting into more like interior designing everything and making sure that, sure that he can, you know, work with the space. I'm gonna just kill the sheep. He used to have a bodyguard around here. I don't know where that went. So that brings me to over here, which is the newest addition to, I don't know if this is considered District 19 or if it's just out of it, but this is the newest place that is being built by, and you can probably tell from the color palette, it's being built by Trent. I don't know what this is, but it looks huge, so I'm going to assume it's going to be something important. He has his, uh, his bed up here, so his, his bed hasn't gotten stolen. How much what does he have in here? Okay. His bed hasn't gotten stolen. There's a bunch of pigs over here, and if I'm being completely honest, that's almost everything that has changed i'm gonna try to look around for more stuff because don't tell trent this but i try to I, I i the reason why i haven't posted in a while is to get a lot of changes to the smp so that i can use half of my video just going around and talking about what's changed i don't think much has changed with faded space like at all because i don't think so why is there a wood here Hold on. there's he's locked it up <laughs> eco was here Okay, I don't know why he's locked this up, but he did. Not much seems to have changed. It's still where our creeper blew up. Yeah, creeper exploded, sorry. Um, yeah, I, I think that's basically it. I'm going to take another uh, look around over at Alessi's base and Draven's base, which is over here. I don't think that they have changed anything, but if they have, it'll be easily noted by Manuel's house. Uh, come over here and... Yeah, it doesn't look like he's changed much. He still has a villager in that minecart for some reason. So I'm not going to question that. And he still has random chickens floating around. And Alezzi's base should be over here. I hope that doesn't explode. Thank you. Alezzi's base... He said he, he like lost a diamond. And then he threatened to burn down his own base. We don't know where that diamond went. But... I Yeah, we don't know where that diamond went. So... My best guess is that he's he's used it somewhere and has forgotten about it and thinks that we've stolen it. So, uh, but I'm going to go get... I'm going to talk about what something up here is uh, after I lay in this bed and skip to day. Right over here. Okay. 
yeah, I'm not sure if my bed was the only one that was messing if somebody's just purely messing with me. But if I go up here, you can see a little stage that's being built. Now this will be, this, what will happen over here will happen next episode. But this is something that me and Duper are planning and we plan to do something pretty amazing, something funny for people to watch and yeah, for even for us to do. So very excited to finish this off and make this look good. It is a stage. I was going to say that it, it it most definitely is a stage right over here. But what I want to get started with today, don't worry about that. Don't worry about the roof. What I want to get started with today is actually this right here. Now I've had this planned out for a few days, but basically what I want to do right here is to make a statue of some sort to go beside my base so that I can have something that looks a little less good than this stuff over there. But yeah, I want to build a statue over here. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do. So I might take a little bit of brainstorming time to think about that before I actually do it. By the time that I'm done building the statue, however long it takes, that might actually be done. But before I go for a little brainstorming session, I want to check on metrics base because I think you can, I, I like you all probably can't tell, but I can definitely tell he's been on just from the sugar cane right here. And he has a, he has cows, okay, uh, we're gonna see a little bit of change, his thing broke free, the mob HQ, okay, this has changed a little bit, yes, to-do list, get rich, set up ways to get food, okay, that's a great to-do list, oof, I, I, my stomach sinks every time I see this, where's his bed, okay, did his bed get stolen as well, he also has no bed, what is this back here? Oh. Okay. Metric, just a word of advice. Might want to hide that a little bit better because that's easily seen. <laughs> you might want to hide that just a little bit. Imagine that's not even like his riches thing. It's like somewhere else. It's almost impossible to get through. But yeah, those are the changes that have happened on the updated SP while we have been gone. There's not much, but there is just enough to... You know, be happy about. And soon enough, I'm going to be moving over to my mega base. One diamond for two stacks of those. Does he have any in stock? Do we better have some in stock? Duper. Do, do I have any gunpowder? Because that might actually be faster. Because I'm running low on, on these here. I need. Anyways, I'm going to get to work on brainstorming what to make over here at this statue area. And I'm. I can't confirm it's going to be a statue, but I'm going to be brainstorming what to make on that and come up with a good idea of what it should be. Why is this over here? What is happening? What is this? Are people messing with me? What is happening? I, I feel like there's just a lot of random blocks. There's just sugar cane? What? Okay, there is some elaborate scheme that's being put on me. There's a random sign with nothing on it and a pillar right over here. There's, my fence is missing, my bed was gone, the sugar cane was gone. Is everything in here still good? Like, I, I can't tell if anything's missing, because there's so much stuff. There's just a random ladder, right here. Somebody has to be messing with me. There, my bed is right... <sighs> my bed. I know, okay, if my bed up here is missing, I'm going to lose it. If this bed that I just slept in is, lose, is missing, I am going to lose my mind. Okay, no, it's... I think I'm gonna lose my mind anyways because guess what I have been walking past my bed this entire time that somebody has moved all the way over here what is this even good lord what is happening that I feel like people are trying to make me go insane with me thinking that nothing has happened but something has happened around here I t <laughs> what is happening there's just random blocks everywhere and it, it's confusing me my sign's still in order. There's nothing in here, is there? Okay, at least there's nothing in here. Good lord. There's so much that has happened. I was on the other day, too, and none of this was like this. So somebody has to be <laughs> messing with me. Right? What else could it be? Could it have been Duper when he was making the maps? I have no idea. I'm going to hope that it was Duper accidentally doing it and not just somebody trying to prank me. Because I feel like what they're doing... Okay. 
this may just be me losing my mind because there's random blocks placed and missing and my bed teleporting from my room all the way over there but i feel like somebody's trying to do a thing where they're making me where they're moving one block each time uh trying to make me feel like i'm losing my mind and then just put it all back in place at, at just one random point and act like nothing was ever missing like i, I like I, I feel like they're trying to gaslight me I feel like that's exactly what they're doing, but I'm losing my mind. I got to get work on brainstorming what I'm going to actually build for this statue and get to work on that because I want to get this statue done before that over there has been made. And yeah, I'm going to be moving to my mega base very soon, as I said, so be excited for that. I'm going to be started on it soon. I'm going to need a lot of quartz and without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys in one second. After I bring. So, as you can see, this isn't a statue. I thought, and this is nowhere near being done, this is still going to go on for a little bit, but I, I, was, I was getting ready to build a statue, and then I thought, wait, the perfect thing is right in front of my eyes. My bed went missing to over here. There are blocks placed down and destroyed. There was sugar cane over here. Those blocks are missing. So I think that what I'm going to have to do with this, what I am going to do with this, is I'm going to have to call in a favor from a good friend. A favor of the best detective in any timeline. And by that I mean Detective Eco. Yes, that's right. I am going to solve this case of the bed bandit and the what seems to be bed bandit's ulterior motive, which is to cause chaos. That will be my main base up there as it is. Not as it is, actually. I'm going to add on a little bit more to it. I need to spice it up a bit, make this whole entire place look a lot better with, you know my agency and everything so I'm going to do that and then we can finally get started 
on figuring out who the bed bandit is. However, I do already have a list of suspects and motives of what of, of what and who it could be. So I'm gonna make me a couple signs and I'm gonna get straight to work on who the bed bandit is. Now, just from knowing these members and stuff that has happened over the past little while of this season, I know that there are a few people who are out to get revenge on me for stuff that I have done. The first suspect on our list is none other than Alezzi's. See, me and Duper took his wheat, and he told us to stop. So my idea here is that I did not stop, and he wants to attack back. That is the first suspect on my list that I can add all the way up here. I'm going to put my armor back on so I don't die. He is the first suspect on this list and the first suspect that could very well be the guy I'm looking for. So I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to add a little doorway real quick so I don't have to keep doing that. And I'm going to add my first suspect. Now, another reason Alezis could be doing this is because I always spell his name wrong. That is, a, that is an absolute... I could It could definitely be him for that point exactly. Now, my second suspect, and the second most likely to be it, is none other than Trent. Now, why would Trent be doing this? Because he still has a grudge against what happened last season. And the possibility that I have not been on in a long time, whereas everybody else has. So that leads me to my second suspect, Trent. Now, as of right now, those suspect list is short, but those are not the only two. See, the other suspect of who it very well could be is the metric miler himself. Now, you may be wondering, why would it be metric? Well, it's pretty simple, really. It is metric. Because he has a thing called the mob, and I have a thing called the multi, the, and I have a thing called the inquiry of multiversal travelers. Dang it, faded! You got me saying inquiry, the inquiry of multiversal travelers, and well, let's just say the inquiry and the mob aren't exactly friendly, as of right now, as the mob wants to hold every mob head in the game to themselves, and we do not want that as the inquiry. So. Suspect number four, metric. These are the suspect, no, oh my god. Suspect number three, metric. And those are the three suspects I have right now. Alezzi's, Trent, and metric. And this is, of course, the case of who is the bed bandit. Well, it appears this video is done. I'm gonna get more people to get help me gather some of these up here while I continue my search for the bed bandit. This may be a long journey. This may go throughout the entire season, but one day I will find out who the bed bandit really is.